everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. We're so excited today to bring you another interview with one of our hall stars. This is really fun. I'm Rachel. I'm a film critic and I'm here on the podcast with Anne. Hi, everybody. Yay. And we are very delighted to be talking with Stephen Huzar today. Thank you so Hi. much, Stephen. Oh, my pleasure. Hi, everybody. And thank you both for having me on your show today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what we like to do with our guests is we like to give you a chance to introduce yourself and tell us what inspired you to become an actor. Sure. Thanks. Great question. Well, uh, my name is Stephen Huzar and I am Canadian. Um, I grew up in a small town in the middle of the country called Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, my first experience uh, with acting was actually in grade two when I played Old McDonald in oh Old McDonald gosh. Had a Farm. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so that was pretty cool. That was, I guess, a lead role. So I got thrown right into the <laughs> number one <laughs> spot in the show. I remember my friend was actually playing a, a dog in the show and he, he had to get in this really, really, really hot outfit and he was sweating so much after the show and I felt so sorry for him. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That's why, that's why I gotta remember, I, I, I have to be the lead in shows so I don't have to play a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of stayed with me a little bit. and um, So that was my very first experience uh, acting. Um, and then um, I, you know, I actually ended up taking business school. I'm, I, have a, I have a business degree in commerce and finance and actually started out in corporate America for a few years before I realized that really wasn't my calling uh, as much uh, intellectual stimulation uh, that I was having at the time, um, working with really great people. Around the world, I thought, no, I, I really wanted to um, make a difference telling stories. And that's really where my, my passion lied and my heart. And so at that point, I, I decided to, to drop the American dream of corporate America and went into, went into acting full time. So that was, uh, that was kind of fun. But I think the, uh, going back to your question, that first, uh, that first nugget of inspiration was way back in grade two. Oh, my gosh. So you basically yeah. have lived the Hallmark movie. You uh, <laughs> ensconced in business, uh -huh. and, yeah. <laughs> and then back. you realized the error of your ways. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. and I actually went back to my uh, my hometown. So oh my I, gosh! As a matter of fact, I was working in Chicago oh, wow. at the time. Yeah, I was I was I was, I was at a company in Chicago, and then I. Ended up going back to Saskatoon to kind of find myself, a small town. There you go. This is it. It's actually a Hallmark story. Maybe I should actually pitch it. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. Can, maybe can actually, shoot my story sometime. <laughs> yeah. I, and, I, where is your where is that town that I can't say? <laughs> Saskatoon. Um, Saskatoon. Saskatoon, yeah. It's I know this the K and the S getting them mixed up is, is, is a common is a common tongue twister. Um, it it's actually about a twelve hour drive north of Fargo, um, North Dakota. So oh it's gosh. quite far north. Yeah. Okay. We're in uh, okay. We're way up there. It's uh, it gets very wow. very cold, and we have well, I think the winter winter is the longest season of the year. Um, oh so goodness. I was actually born as a, a blizzard myself, a snow blizzard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So yeah, got some, got some hearty blood in me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you uh, end up going to school for uh, acting or did you just kind of dive in or? Um, I did. I mean, I, as I said, I, I, under, my graduate, my undergraduate was uh, business, but then um, I did after, after I realized this is, uh, I really wanted to get into it. I, I moved out to Vancouver, and that's where I really started getting into studies um, in Vancouver, and then uh, also in Toronto. Studied quite a bit there as well, and um, and then it obviously started to to work. And um, yeah, the rest is history. But I I, also, I like to study as much as I can. We always like to keep juicy as actors and push ourselves creatively. You know, uh -huh. so I continue to do that. That's great. I love yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So. Your first role for Hallmark was that uh, was that the Walk the Dog? Was that your first one? No, let me no. try. I'm trying to remember the first. Oh no, that was a short. That was a short. Well, yeah. I'm well, just you yeah. did for Lifetime. You were in the Twelve Men of Christmas, which makes yeah. me very excited because I love that movie. Yeah, oh, we both great. like that one. Oh, oh great! Yeah, <laughs> yes. that was really fun to work with Chris and Chenoweth on that one. Yeah, yeah that was fun. I was. Uh, and a lot of a lot of a lot of great guys that we still uh, a lot of the the other twelve men or the other eleven men I should say <laughs> where a lot of us are still good buddies as a matter of yes. fact so yeah it's kind oh, of neat. that's great years ago now we, that we, actually, so, we yeah. dream of having a similar movie for Hallmark <laughs> yes this is our dream okay that, that we want there to be a firehouse movie 
Uh -huh. uh, and, and our dream is that you could have all of the typical leading men in one firehouse uh -huh. and then all of the typical like wrong guys, the bad men of business or whatever in a uh -huh. different firehouse. <laughs> oh, and it, you okay. could have a, a rivalry. Right. Keep between the two. Yeah, yeah. It would be so good. <laughs> Competing for you guys, yes, exactly. <laughs> so that could be a lot of fun, yeah. 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 Right? right? I like so, the way this is going. It would be um, the movie event of the year. It could be. The true it could be. movie event of the year. Yeah, I do. I love the 12 minute Christmas. I think it's so fun. Yeah. So that's a pretty good place to to start if you're, I guess, TV rom com mm -hmm. world. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It was awesome. Yeah, they had, I mean, it, it seems, I, I really enjoy rom-com. I like to make people laugh um, a lot. Um, I, I, uh, I enjoy the romantic side as well. <laughs> so the, putting those two things together is pretty fun. Um, you know, I do like to swing into the villainous world uh, once in a while in the dramatic world, which I, I yeah. seem to balance my career with, which is, which is lots of fun. But um, in general, I love the comedy and I love the, I just love inspiring people. And, and I think good story, the world needs more good stories. And that's why I'm, pretty excited that Hallmark's got a, a, such a, such a library and, uh, you know, a yeah. breadth of stories that really uplift people, which I think, I think is a really good thing yeah. these days. Uh, the first time I think I remember seeing you on Hallmark was in Magical Christmas Ornaments. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. so, and that one I feel like was a surprise. I, I, I didn't think from the, uh, the summary and the other things, I was like, oh, I don't think this one's going to be very good. And then I watched it. I was like, this is good. I like this <laughs> one. <decent>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad but you liked it. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about that one is uh -huh. that podcasts were a major villain. When they talk about it, they're just like, oh, you're on a podcast. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you're on the yeah. podcast. I'm it was so very sorry. suspect. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I had, I had, I had nothing to do with that decision. <laughs> <laughs> now that i look back on it boy we should have changed the script for sure yeah i think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, it was really great uh working with uh, on that show as well that was that was just only a couple of years ago actually yeah and, and, um, 17 yeah okay. and then and then we went into um gosh return to christmas creek i think was the next one i did yeah. with you guys yeah. and that was a lot of fun sitting up in uh Northern Ontario, beautiful lake country up there. And uh, again, a great, great cast too. Lots were, of you, were you slightly villainous in Magical Christmas Ornaments? <laughs> I was, uh, I was, let's see, villainous. I was definitely, um, I, I wasn't, I was the, the third guy. So I wasn't the love interest, but I was <laughs> her previous potential yeah. love okay. interest, I guess. So okay. I, I kind of, I came back to haunt Didn't you her, spill the beans about <laughs> in your book? <laughs> about exactly. her life and so that she got really upset on I a wrote, podcast if i'm not mistaken yeah i i, I tend to do that I'm a, <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of a storyteller uh kind of guy and uh yeah i thought i thought we could use that to, uh, to benefit my career i wasn't too excited about that no but deep, deep down i'm I was a very nice guy he was a nice guy as well okay, of course good. you know well no bad intentions he just you know just wanted to leverage uh, leverage that story about a bit a little bit that uh, relationship <laughs> well feel free to be equally equally verbose on this podcast oh uh, yeah okay uh, yeah so sure. <laughs> all right I'm ready. all the all the juicy details yes uh, no, that's funny all right well good uh yeah and so you had returned to christmas creek last year mm -hmm. for hallmark channel and uh where was that all filmed um, so Return to Christmas Creek was filmed, um, I'm trying to remember the exact place. Yeah, it was in North Bay, it's called. So it's a, it's a, well, quite a bit of a hike from Toronto. It's about five hours drive north of there. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Lake it looked country. really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. We had a float plane in there. We had a little cabin that uh, we were staying at actually while we were shooting for half the movie, which was just awesome. I'm a, I'm a water baby myself. Um, <laughs> I love the water. I'm a sailor. You know, I love I love to kayak, canoe, and windsurf and surf. And so it was cool. it was awesome uh, being by the water so much. I, I it, any chance I can get to work outside, I, I, I take it. So mm -hmm. it was uh, it was a real pleasure up there. Yeah, it's beautiful people and really nice small town people too that really treated us well. They were very excited that we're shooting at the <laughs> resort. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm with sure. you on the water, right? I. Yeah. I'm an open water swimmer myself. Oh, okay. So oh, I wow. love being in the water. It's my, 
favorite Meeting, thing. Are you, do you, do you race? Do you like, uh-huh. is it a competitive? I've done, well, it's, it is, but I'm not really, I'm just one of the, give me my medal. I finished person. Uh-huh. <laughs> not, not a competitive person. Uh, uh-huh. But, uh, but yeah, I've done 13 open, open mile, open water races over the oh. years. And, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know I that. That's it. cool. Yeah, it's my, it's, I love it. I absolutely love it. And but warmer water races. Warmer. Yeah, in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to take a second from this episode of the podcast and thank our sponsor. They are the good folks over at HelloFresh, and they are America's number one meal kit. And right now you get nine free meals with HelloFresh by going to HelloFresh.com slash Hallmarkies9. And then use code Hallmarkies9 when you check out. And uh, most people are kind of aware, I think, of these meal kits. But I think what makes HelloFresh really special is they there's the easy layout of the recipe cards and the just the freshness and uniqueness of the recipes because especially this time of the year where things are so busy we all need some help there you can save so much time by using hello fresh uh because you don't have to go shopping you have the easy to use recipes and it's something that you can get out of your dinner rut and uh, these are chef curated meals and so you can try things that you would never try before and i recently tried it and i had my three meals and they were all delicious they were all easy to make and they're definitely something that i would not have made on my own which was nice and it's also nice as a single person that I I didn't have to buy like a whole jar of something just to use a little tiny bit, which can be a problem. And you just get the little bit that you need. So it's actually not wasteful. And everything is just really fresh and yummy. And you've got your card there so you can really see what it's supposed to look like. Definitely recommend it. And right now you can get nine free meals with HelloFresh. Going to HelloFresh.com slash Hallmarkies9. Use code Hallmarkies9. But I have done the Great Salt Lake uh-huh. four times, which is, okay. we, we like to joke that it's the devil in lake form. <laughs> Great Salt Lake. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, and uh, so I'm really proud of that. How and long are those races? It's a mile. A mile. But, and everybody thinks, oh, you float in the Great Salt Lake. So it's, mm. it must be super easy. False. It's no. not. It's mm. very difficult. <laughs> Something a mile is difficult, I, I'd yeah, say. Absolutely. Extremely difficult. tiring. Oh yeah. my gosh. The salt just it. sucks everything out of your body. And Ooh, it's yeah. right. difficult. And you're probably thirsty all the time, too. You think you yeah. need some more and water. And your, right? your, your tongue gets all numb. Yeah. And you can't feel <laughs> it. It's, it's a strange activity. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it does feel so good when you finish. And you're just like, yes, oh, yeah. I did it. Right. Anyway, absolutely. so but I love being in the water. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, my yeah. Uh, my sign. Uh, I have a water sign as well. I'm Aquarius. Yeah. There's lots Me of water too. in that sign. Yeah. So oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that, that's it. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Two Aquarius is on the call. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so you had done one uh, Aurora Tea Garden. So did that help you kind of get in the? Yes. The, oh, the, we forgot about the Aurora Tea Garden. I yeah, know, I did the, that way back in twenty. Uh, that was that was the fir- that was the first Hallmark movie I did. You're right. Okay. That's, yeah, that's right. Um, I played Father Scott Aubrey. If I oh, that's I right. Remember. I remember that. Yeah. Okay. Marian <laughs> Priest. It was awesome, and um, yeah, with Candice Cameron Bure, she's awesome. We uh-huh. had some fun. Um, we were shooting. That was actually in Vancouver. Um, shooting up the coast. A line in a little place called Squamish. An interesting story here. Um, when I was shooting a scene with her in a restaurant, you remember that was back when they were shooting The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio. And oh yeah, oh. Oscar for. And they were being rained out so badly during that time. They, they shot it over two years, and, and there was huge, huge floods and rains during that time. So he was actually flooded out and was staying, I believe, in the same place we were shooting in the hotel. It was a really quite a nice hotel. And I didn't actually see him, but he was actually, um, the, some of the crew told us after we're doing our scene that he was there watching us for a little bit. So that was kind of neat. Yeah, <laughs> Interesting <cool>. story. <laughs> you know, a little different kind of movie, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, really give him some, cool. re- some relief from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There was a, bit, yeah, a little bit of a different kind of uh, te- tenure to the, to the show. So maybe he just had to watch it just to feel good yeah. he's watching that and he's like was yeah. it, is it worth it yeah. <laughs> is, is, is it worth it to get the oscar to 
<laughs> to go yeah. through this horrible yeah, experience. Exactly. They they sure they sure pulled through though, that's for sure. But yeah. Uh, wow. yeah, I remember that was a very wet show. So we were obviously getting rained out at the same time too, but we managed yeah. to, to pull it off. We had a lot of rain cover and uh, we didn't shoot, you know, hundred percent of the show outside like they did, of course. So yeah, oh, we yeah. were able to uh to make it work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Ruby Herring Mysteries. Sure. And so how did how does that work? How did you get involved with that in the beginning? Mm, okay. Um, how does it, well, how did I get involved? Um, well, that was actually very shortly after I shot, um, see, I'm trying to get all my movie is straight here. Return the to- uh, Return to Christmas Creek. Yes. Um, I think I got the call probably a month or so later, a month or two, or maybe just uh, two months later. And uh, just telling us about what we, uh, you know, what they're planning on doing. They wanted to start a new um, mystery, murder mystery series, which I love. I love, I love the old murder mysteries. Uh, yeah. You know, they're, it's so, it, it, I just find it so intriguing and uh, interesting and, and you can really engage the audience, I think, a lot. And that way they can sort of participate with you, which is fun. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so I was super excited when I, when I heard out, when I heard they were um, potentially getting this going. And uh, then it worked out and, and Taylor, you know, met, I met uh, my co-star, Taylor, Quinn Cole, literally a, a day before we started shooting. Oh, wow. <laughs> as, as, oh my gosh. Sometimes this happens because <laughs> she was on another show and I had it just the way the timing was scheduling is working out with all with our work. Um, uh-huh. We had just arrived the day before, but we had a script read through, which was awesome with the director. Uh, and I believe the producer was there. Yes, Beth was there as well. Was there as well. And we just, we just right away knew this was going to be awesome. We are just like, thank uh, goodness. Because we knew that this could potentially go, you know, quite, quite the distance, right? We have yeah, um, yeah. optioned many, many movies sort of thing. And, you know, as you know, you don't know, uh, depending yeah. on how, you know, what you're going to do. But, you know, we, we could be doing this for a while. So, of course, we wanted to, yeah, we were hoping that we would, uh, we would partner up with someone that we get along with, which of course happens. Yes. So we were very grateful about <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. What's it like working with Taylor? <laughs> oh, awesome. Absolutely awesome. I mean, the girl is so professional. She's hilarious. And, uh, I, you know, it, it's, it's really neat because now that we've done the second one, just uh, released uh, here last uh-huh. month and actually yeah. this, this last weekend in Canada was its premiere. Um, we, you know, we're built, we're really starting to find the nuances of our characters, the relationship, we're building it. Mm-hmm. It's, we're having more fun. Not only our characters are having more fun, but we're, we're kind of having a little more fun because now we've got, we've got somewhere to go. We've sort of started to figure things out. Often yeah. the first time you're doing something in a series or episodic um, or even the beginning of a show, you're, you're, you're trying to figure those things out a little bit. So it's been, it's been a great ride. And uh, we really, we're really finding the groove, I feel, in the characters. And uh, we're kind of exploring some, some fun things uh, together now as well. So, and it was fun from the very beginning, of course, but it's nice to see it progress. Well, yeah, exactly. It's nice that you guys can explore the characters and like take them, you know, further. And, you know, since it's like more episodic, like you said. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And- yeah. And you play detective Jake Killian, and so was that fun to play a detective? Really fun, yeah. I love, I love, <laughs> I love flashing my badge whenever I can. <laughs> yeah. Having your having your gun. Yeah, and... having my gun exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. such a good detective name, Jake Isn't Killian. It? Yeah, they nailed it. You there. know, interestingly enough, and I can't remember what my original name was, but that wasn't my original name. Yeah. So. We changed it. I think it literally happens like a day or so again before shooting, or or, mm-hmm. or maybe a week before, or something like that. Which I, but I was really, we were really excited about the name change because I'm like, I, I can get into this guy for sure. He's got mm-hmm. he's got an edge to him, absolutely. Yeah. And and we're starting to explore that edge now as well. We learned why he moved back to Seattle from New York, and mm-hmm. there was an incident yeah. and a little bit more of his history. And now we get to know his family a little bit more as well. So it's kind of fun to play that mama's boy, but also have that that. <laughs> the detective edge to you as well <laughs> yeah there were a lot of fun scenes in this in this recent one mm. like i the whole scene when she's in with uh with andrew francis's character and you're listening yeah. in on the on oh yeah thing. that yeah. all scene made me really laugh yeah <laughs> like, what's going on yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jake's got a, yeah, just kind of showed what, you know, it's really nice to play private, I guess we call it to the audience. So, mm-hmm. you know, the audience is getting sort of to know who this character is without everyone else around. So this is a really nice time to, 
for, for just to really get a good impression of what what does Jake really feel yeah. about Ruby yeah. here, right? You know, exactly. So I yeah. hope that, that maybe started to come across a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was good, and yeah. uh, and they were got pretty close to a kiss there at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. which yeah. was pretty exciting. Yeah. That might have been just might, might have been the camera angle. I don't know. <laughs> how, how close were we? Was it inches? I think we're still within yes. like you know six inches. Wasn't too bad. I know they love leading us on there. <laughs> oh yeah, they love those lingering eye contacty uh-huh. moments. So I think yeah. it was one of those where it's like, will they? Won't they? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I mean, she got to meet my mom. I mean, yeah. once 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 the girl meets the mom, then oh boy, you know. That's true. <laughs> there's, comfort, there's comfort in that, but it's also you know very scary at the same time. So yeah. okay, fine line. <laughs> I also I can't remember if you were how much you were in the uh, the fundraiser scene when they were mm-hmm. all trying to wax poetic about this painting uh-huh. that, oh, that, yeah that whole scene made me laugh i thought yeah. that was all very, very fun <laughs> pretty cute yeah no that was that was a nice night a really nice big scene there yeah. at, the, uh, at, at the museum there it was lots of fun because we of course have a, a really nice ensemble cast and we have yeah. a lot of return uh actors as well and and which you know we, we've all built a relationship from the last one and i knew some actors from before actually some other canadian actors so it was it was awesome yeah we got to really play in that scene and and uh yeah throw a little of the authority around when you can but also you know playful at the same time of course very, good. very <laughs> cool yeah we'd like to take a second from this episode of the podcast and thank our sponsors over at care of they've been such wonderful sponsors for the podcast and right now you can get 50 percent off your first care of order go to takecareof.com and our code hallmarkies 50 hallmarkies 50 that is new that's different than our previous uh, code for their sponsorship so you go to takecareof.com enter code hallmarkies50. What's great about Care Of is is how personal it is. You go online, you take the quiz, and it helps guide you through through your needs and help you to figure out what kind of vitamins you should be taking uh, so that you're not just sort of wasting your time and your your money on things that don't really fit your needs. I was able to sort of narrow down my needs for sleep products and to help me get a little more energy and some of the other things. And it's very personal. The, each uh, packet that you get has a little quote on it, is able to, to you know, can help inspire you to be the healthiest version of yourself. And I just was very impressed by the, the level of detail that they go to to make it personal and everything is just very easy to use. You can just stick them in your purse or your suitcase if you're traveling during this time of year. It's the holidays. We're all going to be setting New Year's resolutions coming up soon. So what a perfect way to start now. Start in December and uh, and and this would make a, also a great gift, something really thoughtful. So definitely check out Care Of and right now, 50% off your first Care Of order. Go to Go to takecareof.com, enter Hallmarkies50. So, yeah, and uh, you were also in my one and only mm-hmm. just recently. Yes. So and I was curious, how was that to sort of, I feel like your character was a little more introverted than uh-huh. you typically play, was a little more nerdy. Yeah. And so I was wondering what that was like. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm glad that's how it came up because that's what I was hoping. It was lots <laughs> of fun. Yeah. Um, it was neat because, uh, you know, it is, it is obviously great to play the alpha male and kind of that, that leading man, but at the same time playing that underdog and sort of trying to fit in there is, is, is interesting as well. And I think very relatable for people. And, and I enjoy it because as, as I said, I really enjoy comedy and um, yeah, you know, I was given the opportunity to explore that and, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd rehearse it a couple of ways and then, um, you know, threw, threw something in there. I wasn't sure if it was going to stick, but then we got the thumbs up from the director. So we, you know, once you, once, once some was able to place a little bit of that earlier in the, in the show, then, and then we kind of went with it and built the character around that, which, which I, I hope it was a, as a good dynamic to the rest of the characters. Yeah. It was nutty. There was like, it was just a little more, humor than in a typical hallmark movie uh-huh. and i just keep thinking like <laughs> sam page is way too comfortable being a third wheel on these days i know <laughs> that's what i thought <laughs> what is happening here i know how did that feel like having yeah. him like always be there when you're doing scenes <laughs> with somebody i'd be like that's so weird 
<laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. Well, Sam, Sam's of course awesome. So we were we were having lots of fun in that. But yeah, it was it was a little it was it was interesting. There's a lot of that com- competitiveness going on with the boys, and I think yeah. I think Pascal really enjoyed that. She had a smirk going on most of the time on and off set. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. The, the show within a show is always it's always kind of fun. So isn't it? Yeah. It was it was that was lots of fun. Yeah. I was trying to explain to people what was going on, and they're like, I don't think get, so what? And then they finally watched it like. Oh, I see. What oh. a, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. and her line about, I mean, that his, I think it was his line, actually. The whole scene with the, with the air balloon was so mm-hmm. good. Yeah. That was so oh, good. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. Good. Well, we were, you know, it, 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 that's, a, that's a risky kind of scene to do, of course, that's- when you're... When you're, you know, wind and you've got all sorts of elements dealing with it. Yeah. It actually ended up being quite windy that day. So there was, you know, we were sort of playing it by ear if this was even going to work and so on. But it, it turned out so beautifully, so beautifully. What a, what a great ending to the show. And, and we were really mm-hmm. excited. And, and of course, uh, they, were, they were okay of, of, of going up a little bit as well. So that's nice because often, you know, when the day comes and... Um, Maybe you really weren't weren't aware that you were going to do something like this, or maybe perhaps an actor is afraid of heights or something. Then you know mm. things can really screech to a halt very quickly. But you know they just dove in, and it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, Great. her character was afraid of heights, so it yeah. Yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It made sense. It, it, it did, yeah. But uh, uh, but then it's uh, in the end she. she it was, you know, she overcame her fear and, and, and what a great, you know, analogy to life itself too. And it was, it was, it was awesome, yeah. you know, that, that, uh, that turned out the way it was. And I think, I think people could re- really relate to that. If you, if you trust somebody, you know, you can get over your fears. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. Was really good. It yeah. was really good. Uh, so yes. All right. Well, you have a new Christmas movie coming awesome. out on Hallmark movies and mysteries, I think. Yes, it actually is coming out in movies and mysteries. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we think it's a homecoming for holidays. <laughs> yes, a homecoming for the holidays. So, so I believe that's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't really know a whole lot about this movie. I don't uh-huh. know if there's what you can tell us about it uh, at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to give it away, of course. <laughs> guys, of course. I really want you to see it because it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I mean, people end up hating Christmas and uh-huh. yeah, it's don't fall a, in love. It's a big <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, yeah everyone's you know, sulking the whole show. <laughs> Come watch it. Um, let's see. What can I tell you? Well, I, I have an incredible co star in the show, Laura Osnes. She is a Broadway musical star. She plays uh, Cinderella on Broadway and, and amongst uh, many, many other roles. <laughs> it was incredible working with such, such a profound actress and, and she was so professional and just, you know, one of, one of the most, you know, <laughs> devoted and uh, passionate actors I've ever worked with. So that in itself is worth watching because she is incredible on camera and her voice and you know, yeah, I can't wait to hear Sam. It's amazing. Yes, absolutely amazing. <laughs> she had us literally all in tears, happy tears, um, on some of her scenes because it was just so moving what she was doing. So, so she's I, a singer in the movie. She is, yeah. So she's a buddy. She's actually, um, I'll give you a little, little hint what it's about. So she's, um, she's a little a budding uh, sort of music, m- music star. Um, we actually have a chance encounter. Uh, I'm, I play a military guy and I'm heading off to Afghanistan when we have our first chance encounter, a little bit of a, you know, a hello and, uh, you know, a surprise to see each other. We've never met before. Um, and then we were shipping off uh, to Afghanistan and her brother was actually uh, deploying with me at the time. So that's, that's how the sort of the, you know, they set up the movie. And okay. then we fast forward when I come back as a veteran and she comes um. to return to her small town and uh that's about as far as i can tell you right now because i really want the rest of you surprised so <laughs> <laughs> well, let me uh, let me i will say one thing is that um yeah her career really starts to uh starts to take off at yeah. some point so it's okay. really cool to see that character evolve that sounds really fun i'm mm-hmm. excited for yeah. it <laughs> so am i uh, we uh, we just we didn't we we actually just finished shooting three weeks ago or something like that too. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's uh, it's, it's still, fresh, still really fresh. Yeah, <laughs> and we shot in incredible locations in the mountains uh, up here in Canada again. Actually, uh, so uh, the you know cinem- uh, cinematography is going to be wonderful too. So I'm looking mm. forward to uh, people enjoy that. I always like that. 
Yeah. So you didn't have to pretend to be cold in like 90 degree Canada <laughs> yeah, weather. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. As a matter of fact, no, no, not at all. It was it was actually one of the first Christmas movies I believe I've done where I was really glad to have the layers upon yeah. layers of of uh, of clothing <laughs> on because it, yeah, it, it did get. It did get. We actually used real snow in this one, as a matter of fact, because it was oh. cold enough um, now in the fall in Canada that it uh, it would it would last for a lot of the day. Because a lot of times that's not the case, you know, mm-hmm. in these shows. So that's an okay. interesting fact. Oh, that okay. sounds good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it makes it feel more believable. You feel more dedicated yeah. to the to the to the performance. I think when it's like you can actually see their breath a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Yeah, actually, that's true. You're actually shivering. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you get to sing? Are you a singer at all? <laughs> I am uh I like to sing in the shower a lot. Uh, <laughs> about as far as I go. Yeah. I um let me see. Did I actually I don't think I actually belted out a tune in this one. No, I left that to her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I love her. I especially love her um, her Princess Party Broadway mm, thing that she Party does Broadway with the show. Disney songs. Oh. I know. I can't wait to go see that. We're we're oh. very good friends. I'm I'm definitely going to go uh, go see that in New York yeah. at some point. Amazing. She was actually had to write right when we wrapped. She had a show pretty much the next day back. Oh, back wow. so cool. So she was cool. she was off again. But yeah, what a wonderful way for her fans to keep engaged. You know, mm-hmm. it's been it's been great for her. Yeah. Yeah, but she's really loving the transition. Um, hopefully, you guys can have her on the oh, podcast at some point. She yes, we would love to. Yeah, she tell seems her. so wonderful. She, she seems great. She is absolutely, and she and she just loves this new this new. It's it's a very new world for her, actually, mm-hmm. uh, uh, this film world as well. But she's really yeah. taking it in great stride. Yeah, yeah, we welcome her to the Hallmark family. That's for absolutely. sure. Absolutely, and she's and, and she's <laughs> feeling very welcomed. Absolutely. Oh, good. Yes, that's good. <laughs> uh, so we like to end our interviews with mm-hmm. what we call the, the silly questions or the t- the uh during the rest of the year we call them the teen beat questions but these okay. are the holiday version of oh. this so okay all right ready so we have sure. what is <laughs> I have your no f- idea what to expect this is <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite <laughs> holiday drink Ooh, my favorite holiday drink is eggnog yeah. with a little bit of rum. Yeah. Oh, a little okay. bit special. Okay, okay. okay good. A special. A special, <laughs> special eggnog. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh-huh. All right. What is your favorite holiday cookie or treat? Oh, my gosh. Um, love, love, love pie number one Mm. and my mom makes this incredible i go home all the time for christmas and she makes this incredible saskatoon berry pie oh okay really good it is really good yeah Yeah. think blueberries but way better okay okay Okay. (laughs) (laughs) very good okay i do also love pie uh-huh. most people i feel like when they say they don't love pie it's just because they've had really bad pie exactly they haven't they yeah. haven't had the opportunity to really enjoy the good stuff yeah sure. agreed so okay uh what is your favorite christmas song or carol oh christmas song or carol um i love rudolph the red-nosed reindeer i mean who doesn't mm-hmm. right yeah yeah definitely That's number good. one Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. started a whole animated empire so you gotta love that <laughs> you gotta <laughs> love that yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. okay <laughs> then we have what is your favorite uh, christmas movie speaking of movies oh my favorite christmas movie oh my gosh um oh there's this really good movie animated movie with tom hanks something express Oh, the Polar oh, Express. Oh, the Polar, Polar Express. Express. I love that show so much. And we yeah. actually, we, yeah, we we didn't watch it last year, but it's, it's, we usually watch it every Christmas. So that's, okay. that's, that is my favorite one. That's a good one. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite holiday tradition to do every year? Oh, a favorite holiday tradition? Um, well, we, I go home. I think I've only missed two Christmases my entire life. Uh, for my family. I'm very close to my mother and sister. My dad unfortunately passed away. But um, when we when we go home every year, we go to this um, place called the Forestry Farm, and it's it's sort of this um, this nature sort of park, and it has some some animals in it and etc. And they dress all the trees up. It's like a winter wonderland full of lights, and it becomes this kind of like the polar express it becomes this this sort of really fantasy kind of world and i just love it. it's just sort of mm-hmm. going into a real life 
fantasy Christmas world. And it's, it's wonderful just to drive through there. With my so family. they really need to make a Hallmark movie about your life. You come to <laughs> yeah. the city, it's about time. to the hometown, you have the Saskatchewan <laughs> berry pie. Yes. You have the, 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 the amazing experience that you yeah. just described. The forestry tra- farm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hometown tradition. Uh-huh. We yeah. do, we do, absolutely. That's a recipe and, for, yeah, for a home. And, and we have very, very cold temperatures, yes, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very, very. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think it needs to happen. So, okay. Uh, okay. What is a memorable Christmas gift you've either given or received? Oh, boy. Uh, definitely Smurfs. I received, I was so into Smurfs. Kind of still am, not going to lie. <laughs> so into yeah. Smurfs as a kid. And one year I received, actually my sister received Brother Smurf, I think, and I received Baby Smurf. And I, we were just like, yeah. <laughs> so excited That's and fun. literally I, I've, I've had them I think I still have them as a matter of fact um but I've just kept them and uh, they've stayed with me my entire yeah. life they're just I love smurfs and I just the idea of a smurf you know living in a mushroom is pretty cool <laughs> yeah. I think so. So, <laughs> why not yeah. exactly. but they only need one female yeah, okay. really. That's <laughs> just a little crazy. Yeah, it's selective. Uh, <laughs> selective. Very selective. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Scrooge or the Grinch? Which would you pick? Oh, Scrooge for sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> clear lights or colored? Colored. Okay. Mm-hmm. Snowball fight or building a snowman? Oh, snowball fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fun. Good. Classic Hallmark. Uh, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Would you consider yourself a good gift wrapper or not? Horrible gift wrapper. Just horrible. <laughs> the worst in the world, probably. Yeah. Me, me oh. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's always a gift bag. It's a special skill. I, I'm getting into the gift bags and you know, and, and putting it with those nice light papers, you know, right. the tissues. Those that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. mm-hmm. It's the thought that counts, right? Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay. Last question. <laughs> uh huh. What is your? Do you have an ugly Christmas sweater? And what is your ugliest Christmas sweater? Oh boy. Um, I have a I have a Christmas sweater that has um a, a very big moose on it, which is a Canadian animal. Uh, <laughs> It's sort of this washed green, beige, gray kind of look. Oh my and gosh. Maybe a bit of red in it. And it's the itchiest thing in the entire world. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I, I really can't put it on for more than about five minutes. And then oh, it dear. It yeah. It's, uh, it comes off very quickly. But yeah. I have one. Yes, I have one. It's good for the I photos, guess. though. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Just, as long as the photos don't take longer than five minutes. <laughs> in 2018, that's really all that matters. That's right. Photos. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all we got. Photo. Just for Instagram. Photos. Yeah, smile. It's, it's a it is. It, it's so weird. Yeah, it's so weird at Disneyland. There's all this food that, that people are always saying like, oh, it's not very good, but it sure looks great on Instagram. I'm like, what is the weird world we live in? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's about eating food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it tastes so good on Instagram, I guess. <laughs> what? what? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, you passed the test. Oh, well, I did? Oh, this was oh, a test? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't know this was yeah, a test. Yeah, we don't tell you, you know. I've been so stressed out. Oh gosh, thank you. <laughs> So, well, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. We My pleasure. Love talking we appreciate to you. Your time. Yeah, yeah, let's do it again sometime. That was super fun. All we right, definitely will. Yeah, we'll have a great that. Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Yeah, it's not Halloween yet. It was a Halloween weekend, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, right. uh, do you have social media or anything you want to share or anything like that? Um, yeah, you can just find me, Stephen Hazar. I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Just follow me there, please. Yeah, right. you can uh, keep. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a little better of updating what I'm doing here. So <laughs> my publicist is always pushing me. So that helps. <laughs> well, great. Uh, we'll have all that in the description section. You guys can follow sure. Stephen. And uh, thanks again. We'll definitely. I hope you have a very merry Christmas. Thank you too very yeah, much. Nice. Thank you. Take, okay. take a picture of that pie. I sure will. Yeah, I want to see the pie and the oh, berries, yeah. what they look like. I will. I will. I will. I think <laughs> someday you'll be able to taste it. Not on Instagram. For real. <laughs> yeah. In real life. In real life. All right. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you very much. We'll right. hopefully talk to you soon. 
See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'd really like to thank Stephen for coming on the podcast. It was so much fun talking with him. We had a great time. And so uh, make sure you're following the podcast at Hallmarkies Pod and Hallmarkies Podcast, all of our social media and on iTunes and YouTube. If you are listening on iTunes, please give us your ratings and reviews. We sure appreciate that. And if you are listening on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that we can keep doing more interviews and having more fun times. We also have our patron group, which is so much fun. Uh, We have uh, our giveaways and other exclusive content. All the information for that will be in the description section. So check that out. So Anne, where can people find you? Uh, You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at awscott21 and that's Scott with two T's. Great. You can find me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. So make sure to check that out. I'll be covering everything this holiday season uh, in on both of my podcasts. So I'd love for you to, to give that a listen. And thanks again to Stephen for uh, coming on the podcast and uh, let us know your thoughts of anything that we discussed uh, on Twitter or on the comment section on YouTube. We would love to hear your thoughts. So thanks again, and we will talk to you all later. Bye. Bye-bye.